President Muhammad Buhari to brief the nation today in a broadcast at 8 p.m. in what may reveal major decision of the federal government on the lockdown policy and the handling of the federal government on the coronavirus disease. And the kind of state government said it has commenced investigations into the deaths in the state as the federal government says its NDDC team has commenced work in Kano after outage of testing kits last week. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channel's television. I'm Sean Kimbaloye in Lagos. In just about an hour before, uh, to this time, President Muhammad Buhari will take to the podium to address the nation on what is expected in the coming days as today marks the expiration of uh, the lockdown uh, in Ogun, Lagos and the AFCT. Of course, some states are... Uh, already taking their own uh, initiative in locking down their states and the borders into those states. But we will hear from the president on what is next. So let's tell you that as of now, Nigeria's confirmed cases of COVID-19 has risen over way over the 1,000 mark. And it stands right, right now at 1,273. That figure came about after the announcement of 91 new cases last night. The NCDC has also put the new death toll at 40 and 239 people have been discharged so far. Meanwhile, the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 continued with their daily briefing today in Abuja uh, with the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa Wu, uh, is the chairman of that committee asking Nigerians to unite in fighting the war against the deadly virus. Take a listen to him. The Presidential Task Force shall continue to pursue the strategy of aggressive testing, detection, isolation, contact tracing, care and management. Similarly, non-pharmaceutical measures will be enhanced. Over the last four weeks, we have made appreciable progress, but we are not yet out of the woods because a lot more is required to be done. Nigerians at all levels must take responsibility for our actions, adopt behavioral modification, ensure compliance with adversaries, and provide guidance to our followers and the youth. The situation in Kano is being addressed very closely by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control in strong partnership with the state government and guidance by the Federal Minister of Health as well as support from our development partners. So you heard the the chairman of the PTF, the Presidential Task Force Against COVID-19. Tonight on the program, we analyze what or anticipating what the president uh, would say on at 8 p.m. tonight when he addresses the nation. That is what my panel tonight will be doing for us. And of course, we'll be assessing the lockdown uh, on the, uh, in those three states and what could become of it. We have some more information for you on our political roundup. The Bayelsa State Governor, Dawye Diri, has declared a stay-at-home order for one week beginning from midnight today. Those exempted included sexual workers, pharmaceuticals and foodstuff sellers. This development follows the confirmed index case of the coronavirus in the state. A 49-year-old woman who presented herself at the Bayasa Specialist Hospital in Yenagua for testing. Smell this quite early. The governor of Kaduna State, Nasser Erufai, has directed all senior government appointees in the state, including commissioners, 
permanent secretaries, special advisors and heads of agencies to each donate 500,000 Naira in April 2020 as their contribution in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic in the state. Governor El Rufai says that the extension of the quarantine conditions by another 30 days imposes an obligation to make provision for the low-income, poor and vulnerable persons that will be adversely affected as they may be unable to earn any income while the lockdown persists. The governor further directed that the political appointees will subsequently donate 50% of their salaries until the quarantine ends. It's a hundred days since the Imo State Governor Hopu Zodima took over as the governor of Imo State. And the governor says irrespective of the numerous challenges including the COVID-19 pandemic in the last 100 days, his administration has been able to deliver good governance to the people of Imo by impacting positively on all sectors of the Imo economy. In a statewide broadcast to commemorate the 100 days by the governor in Oweri, the Imo State capital, Governor Uzodema says his administration, amongst other achievements, have been able to restore confidence and orderliness in the state civil service, plug all the ports of corruption in the state, renovate the abandoned governor's office and governor's lodge, as well as embark on new direction of efficiency in the allocation of scarce resources. The Edo State Government has commissioned a 30-bed capacity isolation center at the Stella Obasanjo Hospital in Benin City, the state capital, towards the treatment of the coronavirus. The chairman of the technical committee of the COVID-19 task force, Mr. Philip Shaibu, who led a tour of the facility, said the center, which was completed within two weeks, is fully equipped with ventilators and other respiratory machines to handle COVID-19 cases.